Look, you, you, you can agree with it, you can empathize, sympathy, you can do all of that shit, but you can't be it any more than I can stand here and just be like, I'm a Black Panther! Fight the power! And then I walk out the door a blue-eyed white dude and I get to live that fucking life, right? I don't know. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a mystical five, minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can it, you can it, you can it. Are you What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here to a new video guys. Today we're going to be reacting to B-Boy. I got you! I got you guys! <laughs> I know this is going to be hilarious. And uh, this is my first time checking this out. Um, B-Boy no means no. Okay! <sighs> Who's ready for some spice? I'm ready? I'm excited! This is going to be B-Boy. So... <sighs> it's going to be good guys. How do these guys talk less bad or we ask more? Let's get into this video. <laughs> no means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Look, look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. What are you doing? Oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me, so I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Right? <laughs> that's but true, then, that's true. Then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Oh, Your Honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> yeah, and you just sit there like, she didn't fucking say it like that! She didn't say it like that! <laughs> she didn't say it like that! Yeah. So now everybody's just like scared shitless. You know? Because I guess if women ran the world, there'd be no war. Evidently, there'd be no due process either. So you just gotta sit there going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> No, it's fucking nuts. People are so scared now. You now have, you have the male feminist. Like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Just out of nowhere, last couple years. I'm a male feminist. Uh, I've always championed women. No, you haven't. You haven't. This shit came out and you're fucking scared. You did something. You grabbed some fucking titties. What the fuck did you do that you have to overcorrect that fucking heart? What kind of a man who still has his balls is walking around saying that he's a male feminist? <laughs> I'm a male feminist. I totally see the way you see the fucking world. It's, it's impossible as a man who was raised right. <laughs> to be oh my goodness. a feminist. You can't do it, you're a man. Look, you, you, you can agree with it, you can empathize, sympathy, you can do all of that shit, but you can't be it any more than I can stand here and just be like, I'm a Black Panther! Fight the power! <laughs> and then I walk out the door a blue-eyed white dude and I get to live that fucking life, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, ladies. I don't buy it. Maybe, maybe you do. I don't. Anytime I hear a guy say I'm a male feminist, I always just think that is the most pathetic, limp dick way ever to try and get some pussy, right? Like, that's literally... That is literally the fucking game you had when you were on a first date when you were 16. You were all nervous and your whole game plan was just agree with her. Maybe she'll touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your favorite bands? I like whatever you like. Will you touch it now? Did I do it right? Ah! Yeah, it's a weird time right now. I'm glad that I'm fucking, you know, married now. I don't gotta fucking deal with any of that shit. You know? Younger guys, I don't know. How do you deal with it? Like, you know what was really fucked up in all of this now? Is, is what about women who like it rough? Right? That doesn't happen here in the jolly old England, right? <laughs> Not at all. Everybody gets all dead silent. Big fucking elephant in the fucking room, right? Yeah. How the fuck do you... What's that? Ask for consent. Ask for consent? Doesn't that take the mood? Well, Jesus, that kind of took it in a weird way. <laughs> Dude, whatever the fuck I was saying, however you heard it, that's not what the fuck I'm saying. Right? <laughs> you know, I really listen to this Me Too movement. I think I'm, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna ask for consent. <laughs> I'm really gonna do it this time. I've been feeling... This is 
is why you can't judge comedians. Do you understand this? Do you understand what the fuck I was saying and how this fucking jackass just heard it? <laughs> you know? The second... Yeah. The second it comes out of my mouth, it's not what I said anymore. It goes into your fucking ear hole and gets cut with your whole fucking childhood. Oh, this is what he means. <laughs> Sir, if I could get along with my point, if you wouldn't mind that. <laughs> no, like fucking women who like it rough, like that's gotta be so fucking weird. <laughs> I remember when I was a single man a long time ago, a lot of hair ago, right? Still wasn't a good look, but I was single. I was out there taking some at-bats. I remember that shit. You meet a woman, and when it started going down that road, like you knew you were gonna hook up, what you try to do, you try to get a jump on it, right? You try to figure out what they liked in the bedroom because you wanted to satisfy them because there's nothing worse than if you don't satisfy them. And you know they're gonna tell all their friends, and then you gotta fucking move, and now there's social media, you got a fucking nickname. It's, it's a nightmare. So you, you just try to, you know, you try to do, you know, a little fucking intelligence, you know? You'd be sitting there hanging out, just being like, yeah, so, uh, you know, what are you, uh, what are you into? What are you, uh... <laughs> What do you like to do, right? One night I asked this woman that, she set her drink down, she looked me right in the eye, she's like, I like to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew what she meant. I was like, all right, this is gonna be one of these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> to, we're gonna have to go hard on this one, right? We had a great fucking time. Now, I don't know how I would hit today. I would just be like, all right, I know what you wanna do, but like, you're gonna have to do it. You understand? <laughs> like, I'm just gonna stand here and then you just, back into me however hard you want. You control how hard you're backing into me. Then I'm gonna lay my hand on your shoulder. You can put your ponytail in it. I will slowly close my hand around it. And at any point you, you, want, you want to yank your head like that, that's on you. My other hand will be just to the right of your right ass cheek. If, if you, you want to do one of those, that's fine. But I am not doing anything. I'm just gonna stand here like a giant fuck stick. And you just, you just have at it. You just have at it. Yeah. Do you know what's hilarious about sexual assault? <laughs> you know what's hilarious about it? Is how women are acting like that is a uniquely female experience. You know what's funny? I actually, to the letter of the fucking law, within the last two and a half years, got sexually assaulted in this business by a woman. Yeah. And this is my story! <laughs> I feel like I can live my truth and be brave tonight and share this with you. It's 100% true fucking stories. I was doing stand-up, I was doing a private gig, all right? Private gigs are the fucking worst. You do a public gig, anybody can show up, it broadens what you can talk about, right? You do a private gig, it's like everybody grew up on the same fucking streets. All your jokes gotta go right down fucking Main Street or you're bombing. So all you do is listen to the first comic to hear what's working and what isn't. You just listen to him as he's up there struggling, going, okay, they like bread, talk about bread. Get all the bread you can. Don't make fun of the troops, stay away from the troops, right? So that's what we're doing, right? And uh, the host gets him going, and then he brings up the first act. Okay, she goes on stage. She's not really a comedian, more of a personality. She does her bullshit or whatever. And I'm standing there, looking at my jokes, figuring out what I'm doing. She wraps it up. He goes on stage. She goes to get off. I'm thinking, okay, I'm next. I'm looking at my stuff. And she just walks right by me and just fucking, poo, just flicked me right in the head of my dick and kept walking. <laughs> like it was nothing. Just fucking pow. and just kept... I couldn't fucking believe it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, is this a friend of yours? Was she flirting with you? Was this a joke? None of the above. You know what it was? I swear to God, it was like a bully vibe. Like she was trying to get in my head. Like, there you go, you little red dick. Poof, follow that. <laughs> and she just kept walking. <laughs> Dude, my first thought as I saw her walking away, I just wanted to punch her in the back of the head as hard as humanly possible. Like literally make her leave her shoes, you know? <laughs> But the other side of my brain's like, oh no, dude, you can't do that. You can't do that, it's a woman. And it's just spitball. Well, fucking boot her in the ass then. Boot her in the ass. Can't hit her, dude. Can't hit her, it's a woman. Well, oh, fucking tell somebody. Tell somebody. And all I'm thinking is like, dude, I'm a guy. You can't fucking tell anybody. Nobody gives a shit what happens to a guy. I'm gonna walk up to another man and be like, excuse me, sir, but she just flicked me in my pee pee and I didn't like that one bit. No, sir, I didn't like that at all. No, I didn't. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is this is so entertaining, guys. 
my chest damn is this how like, what planet did be work too much for because he is really good he's really really good my chest my chest my foot like i am cracked up this is so good this is interesting and the way he comes about his joke the way he calculates the way he arranges everything everything is a sense of humor and he's perfect at it it's really good it's good it's good it's good it's good but the truth is if if history reports this about being sexually assaulted no one will believe him it will be like she was just a friend she was just cracking up you are all in the same industry or stuff like that but he didn't take it lightly but no one will hear you comment down below what you think about this video Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, guys. This was hilarious. This was entertaining. This was... It is <laughs> it's good. This is good. <sighs> Subscribe to our channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all